What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I have a very special guest. I have Mauricio Herrera. How are you doing today? Oh, we're doing good. All right, man. So where do I begin? Last Saturday, the world saw you school Jose Benavidez being the older fighter. You pushed him against the ropes, let your hands go. You had a higher work rate, and you made the younger fighter look older than you by outworking him. And to me, you flat out won. What was your initial reaction when you heard the decision? Uh, um, you know, like, like I said, I think I told a couple other guys that interviewed me. I was, uh, when I heard the scorecards, someone came over me and said that uh, I was going to be screwed. It just said, gut, it's just something in my gut said they're going to steal this one. They're going to steal it. And I just seen the scores. I don't know why. I just felt that way. You see my face in there. I'm just like, I think calm, more just numb when I heard it and just like, oh, wow. Because I'm thinking that I, I won't. I heard the school hustle. This is gonna happen. They're gonna steal it from me, and I was just like, was just there, ready to take it. And it's like, oh man, that sucks. That was that was that was wrong. That was wrong. I clearly won that fight. You know, like the guy was still green. I don't think he's ready. He didn't look like a champion or somebody that's trying to get the, get the title. Um, and I did. I don't know what else I could have done. Uh, yeah, I thought it was egregious. As a boxing fan, I was really outraged. And the thing that even more shocking is that they had him as a unanimous decision. It wasn't even like a majority or split decision. They had him winning across the board. And I, I really don't see how you could have scored it like that. Even if you, some people gave it to Benavides, I don't see how it yeah. could have been a UD. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, what, I think one of those games, what, three, three rounds? I don't know. It's just, uh, I was just, at the time, I was just, uh, numb, I was just kind of like, man, I guess this is, that's what it is going to be, then robbery, robbery, I mean, that's, I was going to end the year with the big bang, you know, feeling good, um, got over there, that Danny Garcia fight with the robbery, and then just again, just for the, you know, just to end the year, you know, just put that taste back in my mouth, so, but you know what, um, I'm holding my head high, I mean, the people saw, people are watching my fight, so then they see it. And we're going to just keep on going. I'm going to just keep exposing these fighters um, for TR and, and, and the judges, you know? Yeah. And Dan Rayfield of ESPN, he reported, he said that Jose Benavidez Jr. came over to your corner and to console you and said that he knows you won the fight. Is there any truth to that? Did that happen? No, what he had said was uh, in the locker room, went back to the locker room, um, he went there talking to my manager and my brother and my whole corner was there. I was still kind of about to shower. They had said, um, he had said, you know what? Hey, we thought they were going to give it to Mauricio. We heard the scores, to tell you the truth. We thought we were going to give it to Mauricio. But, hey, when they call our name, hey, we're not the judges. So, of course, I'm going to be happy to give it to my son. So, I, what did that tell you? We took it as they knew. He knew it, but he was rolling with the punches. And, which I don't know why. I mean, why wouldn't you be happy? But that's his take on it. It's just his take is this. He didn't have to judge. He thought the scores were for me, but he, but hey, they gave it to his son, and he's, and he's happy. So I don't know. I guess you kind of just take that however you want to take it. I mean, I get that. Be happy for your son, but I'm I'm about integrity, and I can't wait for a fighter to openly post fight just say, "Hey, I don't think I won that fight," and I think Jose Benavides. They they lost it. I I know they had to know they they lost the fight. I me personally, I thought he he looked better in rounds four, five, and six, I believe, but he didn't really do yeah. much other than that. Yeah, he just waited around. And he fought in spots here and there, uh, tried to look flashy, but um, uh, he wasn't going to take all the work that I was doing all around with with a good combination or a punch here and there that looked flashy. Um, he was, he had to do more than that. I mean, even from the from the jump, he didn't. Do, he didn't do enough, you know, and um, yet, I mean, he, he's 22 years old. I mean, I'm sure he got all happy with that belt, and, uh, you know, after the fight, uh, was I happy not even just after the game, so he, he's not going to admit that he lost. He's young. He'll take whatever they give him, so um, we thought we did good. I mean, we, we landed body punches, um, jammed to the body all night. You know, he's a tall fighter. I mean, he, he's tall. He was undefeated, and... Um, did all we could with the tall guy like that, you know, on the ropes, had uh, pulling back, worked the body, hit them some uppercuts, and just stayed on him, being aggressive, and making the fight the whole time, you know, so, uh, I don't understand, I guess he, he does, he does, uh, just go for big shots, you know, for power hitters, 
So I guess a person who's uh, not born with power is not, what are they, are they just don't uh, belong in boxing? I mean, they're not, they're not doing, going anywhere. It's just, uh, it's kind of like a Pernell Whitaker thing, you know? Yeah, I definitely hear you on that. And I was actually really impressed with the fact that you got a guy who's four inches taller than you, and you control the distance, you got it on the inside, no problem, and you're older than him, and to me, you had a higher work rate. So Max Kellerman agrees, and just really everyone that I've talked to, no one's really said anything different than Herrera won, Herrera won. So after two robberies in one year, Danny Garcia undefeated, and Jose Benavidez undefeated. Does this make you question why you're in the sport, or does it just motivate you to keep going and work harder? No, this is, motiva- this is all motivation to me. I mean, yeah, all I can say is drama is probably the best story, and that's going to just push me uh, even harder. I mean, to just, I mean, as long as the people are still watching, they're seeing what's going on, um, I guess that's going to motivate me to keep fighting the best out there and keep exposing them. And, and um, Showing the fire who we are. We suppose Danny, we suppose Benavides, two undefeated fighters. Um, that's what I'm going to keep doing. I mean, uh, yeah, they would love for me to probably to retire or get out of these fighters. Um, they know that I, I have a chance of spoiling them. Definitely. And the thing that that's really shocking to me, too, is the fact that you are the champion, and usually it takes more to beat the champion and get that belt from them. And for whatever reason three judges didn't see it like that. Do you have any ideas to fix the crooked and corrupt judging and boxing? Well, um, uh, actually, you know, that's true. Look, I was the champion, um, was winning the fight, uh, and still went out of the 12 round, give people a show and go out there and, and give it all. And I exchanged with the, with the power hitter because uh, I knew, you know, again, you don't want to leave it to the judges and go out there even though I'm not the, 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 big, the biggest puncher, but, I go on an exchange with these guys, and it's still not good enough. Um, but we have, you know, Golden Boy now. They talked to me and told me they were protesting something about it. Uh, I don't know um, what the steps are to doing that, but they said that they were going to um, fight this, and uh, so we're going to see what happens and go from there. You've been in there with a bunch of different fighters, quality fighters. A lot of them have power. Ruslan Provotnikov, Danny Garcia, Mike Alvarado, Kareem Mayfield. Where do you rank Jose Benavidez's power amongst the guys you faced that I mentioned? Uh, Benavidez is 